what's going on YouTube this is my first video of 2019 and I'm excited so I'm gonna do a mug mook mook bang mook bang gang bang whatever this gonna be whatever you have you call it I'm kind of under the weather so excuse the coughing throughout the video and um let's get straight into it uh of course I got Venice kitchen This is some of the best pizza in Memphis. Like I done had, I think I done had every pizza spot in Memphis, but this is a one of the best pizzas. It's a wood, it's a wood stove pizza. Man, this is called the Mighty Meaty. And no, I'm definitely not gonna eat all this by myself. And of course I got my favorite, uh, it's a red wine. You know, I figured I'd have some wine with this. This is a red sauce. And I'm drinking a, a red wine, so it should be paired pretty nice. Yeah, so you know, I, I guess this mukbang is gonna be about just my recap of 2019, or the last century or decade. You know, what I've been through, and you know, everything leading up till now. So, 2019 wasn't a bad year. I think I struggled more with um. I think I struggled more with trying to get over, you know, accepting the death of my grandma, which is still kind of weighs on me sometimes because I saw her literally every night when I got home. So, I saw her every night when I got home. So, it still weighs on me heavy because, you know, this one person I thought was never going to leave, even though we discussed it a few times, me and her, we still were, you know, when it hits you, it hits you. Like, you just never really prepared, no matter how prepared you think you are. Another can prepare you for the death, the death of somebody that you really loved, like, I don't, I don't know, like I didn't even have to, I don't feel like I had time to grieve, right? Because like it was like, she passed now and I forgot your next move. Like I, I didn't I didn't have time to sit down and cry or you know, let it process because I had to figure something out quick. You know, it, it still gets to me to this day. And then in the healing process, my friend's grandma passed. So I felt like I relived passing my grandma all over again. I think there was a few, maybe a week or so later when she passed. And then, the death, two of my cousins passed in February, almost a week or so apart. So within the two years, I lost three loved ones. Like, healing from one and going straight into the death of somebody else that you care about, like, it hurts. Like, and I never expected those two to pass the way they did. You know, it's unfortunate. And I feel like I didn't have time to heal or grieve properly because of the frequent deaths of back to back. And you hear people say it come in threes. You know, you don't you don't really you don't really um you don't really believe that until it happens to you. So it just hit me and I was like, you know, you know, just had to deal with it. And as men, you you, you be taught to like suppress any feelings and just get over it and deal with it. But you know, men mental health is important because we can only be strong for so long. And they, were, they she passed in 2018, 2017. Man, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, I was never prepared for that. Um, what else happened? Uh, of course, after she passed, I moved. I had finally got my own spot. And it came out pretty good. Like, I inherited that stuff from my grandma on these are couches. So, of course, I still have those. Remember with her. Um, and everything else, I just kind of got together. I've been on my own for two years, and I would never go back. Like, I'm enjoying, like, I'm enjoying, like, not doing nothing at all. That's some good ass pizza.
Um, of course, their year passed. 2018 passed, and my grandma passed. And then 2019, I started hanging out with a group of friends. Like, you know, they actually got something going for themselves and want to see you doing well. So, you know, we hanging out with them. They're going to be on all my future. They're going to be on a few of my future vlogs whenever I go out. Cause I'm usually with them, so you know I've been hanging out with them. They go oriented. I feel like I learned from it. like it's no point of being friends with somebody if you can't learn from because you just wasting your time. You know everybody has to bring something to your circle if you're gonna be friends. Kind of be just sitting up there like not doing that. So. So I met some some wonderful people. Of course my daughter has turned ten on me. Like as a father of a daughter? That nothing definitely prepares you for your daughter getting older. Like 10? In a minute she'll be 20. Hopefully she'll have a job by then because the girls are experienced. Oh. Some good wine though. Children are expensive. Like this, it's crazy. Whew. That wine's strong. Um, what else happened? Daughter turned 10. Of course, she's getting older. My daughter, my nephew, my niece is getting older. I feel like I'm getting old. Uh, it just, like 2019 flew by. And now we in 2020. You know, we made it. 20 years, I'm 31, I'll be 32 at the end of the month. Like, whoever say time don't pass you by, whoever says it, shit, time flies. Like, you never prepare yourself for what happened. Like, and it's a blessing to see 31. Woohoo! So people don't need to see 25. And if somebody asks me if I'm single or taken, of course I'm single. Sometimes I want to be in a relationship, sometimes I don't. But it's cool being single, but it's so boring, is them. Single life is boring to a point. Like the fact that you don't have to answer to nobody is good, but when you ain't got nobody to talk to and all your friends booed up with they boo, oh shit. Or doing something with they significant others, you at home bored. Like it's crazy. But you know, I'm letting the universe work its way. If somebody's meant to be in my life, when it comes, it comes. I feel like I'm a connoisseur of wine when I do this. Ooh, full body. Jesus, you ever had to read something like some alcohol, or some, some wine or something? Like, this is wrong, like, this is wrong. You know, so. 2018 was a hard year for me. 2019 flew by. And now we're at 2020. 
and with everything going on in the city, it's, it's crazy. Like the best thing for me to do is just stay out of the way. Of course, I'm working two jobs. You know, if somebody asks me why you want to be an influencer, the question is because I feel like I got a story to tell. Like people look at me and just say, I ain't so much bad going on, there's nothing to do, but people don't really take the time to do things. Like they're so stuck on going to clubs and, and, and going to bars. Like this city offers a lot. You just have to be willing to do the things. And some people not. And some people are. But if you're a creature, if you continue to do the same thing over and over, then of course you're going to think that. All you want to do is go to the club and turn up, man. It's like it's so much more to do than just club and take a road trip, find a different place, find a different place to eat food, festivals. Like people have to be, people have to want to do those things and if you the type that's always complaining you're not going to ever do something different you know you feel like you ain't nothing to do in the city take an hour drive up the street go to jackson nashville is a three hour drive go to nashville get a group of friends that like to do stuff but you complain about there ain't nothing to do in the city people have to create their own avenue for things and if you don't create your own avenue you're going to be stuck in the same circle over and over and over again. So my job, I feel like my job is to show people that Memphis has more to offer than clubs. You know, summertime coming up, it's going to be so much to do. So, you know, I think that's another thing I want to be influenced and, influenced and just to kind of not work for nobody. I want to be able to do my own thing and, and, and bless people, bless my friends, bless my family. I want to be able to do things for them. I want to show my daughters other ways to do things. You know, of course, school is always going to be number one, but it's just other things to do. So as an influence, influence in my city, I want to be able to show them this, different things like this pizza. I guarantee a lot of people don't know about this place. They know about it, but they ain't know they sold pizza or do carry out. That's some good pizza. A lot of people don't know about this wine. So, you know, for those who looking. I feel like 2019 has a lot to offer. I just gotta stay focused on the goal. I'm chasing the dream at this point. Stepping out on faith, doing things I've never done before. And see where it takes me. Man, I feel like I ain't got nothing to lose at this point. Am I gonna quit my job to do this full time? Not yet. Do I want to? Hell yeah, yeah, I do. So when everything happens, it's going to happen fast. And I just got to be prepared. I got to show what I'm made of and I'm ready to do this. You know, my daughter, I want to make sure. I want to make sure she's straight. I got niece and nephew that I make straight. My mom's like, I want to be to put them somewhere where they don't have to wear. It's all good though. 2020 is a good year. We lost a lot of people in 2019. 
praying for success in 2020. I'm claiming it as mine. This wine is strong as hell. Yeah, so I think I just want to do something small. The next time I do a mukbang, it's gonna be one of my friends, and we're gonna talk about anything and everything. You know, I got a lot of videos coming. I gotta post a video when I was in Jackson with the animals. Like, I got so much stuff I gotta do. And my weakest point is editing videos. Like I. I feel like I don't want to sit through it and scan through a whole bunch of footage. But I know I got to. So I did this piece of though. I'm definitely going to do it. Hopefully I can drop this video tonight. You know, so like, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know, I can't get where it's coming soon. Thanks to my social media will be down below in the description. Yeah. Until then, peace.